Hello everybody, it's your man Jomahawk2694, and I'm back with the fourth episode of Batman Arkham Knight, my completion quest. One, two, three. One, two, three. He's gonna lose his badge for sure. Owens is yeah, a good shut cop. Up. Lives for the job. He don't deserve this. So, hey, Batman, <sighs> shut up, Owens. Guess Scarecrow gave you the slip. You broke my wrist for nothing. Shut up. <laughs> if only you could do that to him every time. But you can't. Anyway. I have decided to go with a different skin for the time being. This is the Batman Flashpoint skin, which is the alternate reality version of Batman where Bruce is the one that gets shot. Uh, Thomas Wayne becomes the Batman, who doesn't have any qualms about killing people, hence the Desert Eagles on his hips. And... Uh, Martha Wayne goes insane with grief and becomes the Joker. I prefer that story a lot. It's actually really good. Level up. I got two Wayne Tech points. Um, where is Grapple Boost? Ah, whatever. I'll do that later. Batman! We're not doing too good in here. It don't look it, but we're the lucky ones. <laughs> yep. Batman, just want to say it's good to have you on board. You damn well right. This thing's had a serious upgrade. Air support saw it turn into some kind of tank. Nice. Don't get too close. He's here. Back up. It's all right. You can look at the car. Just don't touch. So here we go. The Rocksteady skin. I hope the car is performing to your high expectations. Actually, Lucas, she's a little sluggish. I had a feeling you'd say something like that. Give me a few moments, and I'll bring the afterburner function online. Thanks, Lucas. It was good of you to stay behind. You want to thank me, Mr. Wayne? Just try not to hurt him. I should have some more upgrades ready soon. Remnants of Gotham, I have messages for you all. To the vandals who stayed behind to pick the still warm flesh from Gotham's bone. Have your fun. You are under my protection. To the cowards quaking behind the police department's wall, you will not be spared. And to Batman, I have already won. Emptied your city with a violent toxin and a few threatening words. That's how little the safety you provided was worth. And when the dawn comes, when Gotham lies in ruin, and I turn my gaze to the world beyond, the legend of the Batman will be worth nothing at all. Whatever, Scarecrow. You think he's had enough? Not by a long shot. He can take more. Ain't that right, Mr. Fireman? Please, no more. You know, I got a lot of respect. Good man. Hey, man. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but that would kill someone. And thus begins this side quest. Batman. God, it's really you. What happened here? Uh, our truck was attacked. The rioters dragged us out one by one. We were separated, taken away. Please, they're gonna kill us. I'll save your crew. Wait here. I'll get a GCPD officer to pick you up.
Can I do this yet? No, I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't do any of the expansion missions yet, though. Okay, so we got that. Let's go talk to Nigma. I'm going to the train yard. Nigma's planning something. He always is. destroys the city. Where are y'all going? I see, that would have killed somebody in real life, shooting a tank shell that close to someone. Why, hello there, detective. Yes, it's me, your most feared nemesis, the Riddler. Congratulations are in order, for you have arrived early for this, the next generation of my riddles. I'm afraid the full particulars of my plan will have to remain unannounced for the time being. But I see no harm in rewarding the harmless little glimmer of initiative you have shown with a sneak peek, a preview, if you will, of the kind of conundrum I have in store. Also, what the hell is this rock steady on the back of your car? You are staring, <clears throat> with stupefied incomprehension, at a mechanism I have calibrated to respond to an extremely precise radar pulse. In a moment, I will give you the decrypted code, Dark Knight. Already Over ahead first, of you, Eddie. I think we should run through the ground rules for tonight's festivities. Rule the first. You will address me at all times as Riddler. What? What? How did you? How did you solve tonight's very first riddle? <laughs> well done. Well done. Welcome to my racetrack, detective. You must complete three circuits of this gauntlet, finishing each before the time limit expires. Come now, detective. Let's put that grotesque ego mobile to the test. Be ready, Dark Knight. There's more to this test than just going rum, rum, really fast. Tick tock, detective. Tick tock. Shut up, Betty. You know. This is really stupid, even by Nigma standards. Building a. Do you even know what a racing line is? No, no. Building a racetrack specifically for the Batmobile under Gotham in its old sewer system? Um. What? How? Why? How does this prove you're smarter than me? Keep up with my automatically adjusting course. Damn it. I'm disabling the afterburner's failsafe. I need the extra speed. Son of a bitch. Oh, damn it! This was the part I always Dark Knight? Is that really as fast as it goes? Now I can keep my finger pinned on the trigger or on the turbo. Let's work that undeveloped brain of yours. Whoa, crap, crap, crap! Flip! You're upside down? <laughs> oh, Dark Knight, I presumed a base level of competency when designing these trials. Shut up, Eddie. Careful, I never knew he actually Eddie. said that, though. I'd like the car to be working when I'm done with Once more onto the track, Dark Knight! Once more! What? what? Oh, come on! Oh, Detective, what's that I hear? Is it time winged chariot hurrying near? 
Piss off, Nigma. You're close, detective. Don't fumble now. Don't fumble now. I'm gonna do this real fast just because I need the extra uh, bonus points. Unrelenting desire to showboat. I now have several hundred terabytes worth of performance data relating to that latest model of rocket powered hearse you're driving. Naturally, I shall be using this data to calibrate further challenges and trials. I'll see you soon, Detective. There's a lot more to come. You know, why do you even play fair, Eddie? Why do you give me a chance to win? You know? You make no sense, Riddler! You make no sense! Also, my car's already getting filthy. So where to next? Eh, let's do the main story. I'm heading to the clock tower to see what Oracle's found on Scarecrow's toxin. Let's hope it's good news, sir. Okay, so here we are at the clock tower. Just gonna travel our way up. Can't do it yet, but what's that? Huh. That's odd. Anyway, I can't do it yet, but there's a riddle in here somehow. Identity confirmed. in the Batcave, start messing with all your stuff? You've managed to reduce the compound to its core elements. But there's nothing in there that we can trace. 
What if we'd been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of searching for the toxin, what if we focus on the manufacturing process? Why didn't I see this? The reaction emits a unique radiation spike. Run a scan of the city for this energy signature. It will show where Scarecrow is creating his fear toxin. It'll take a few hours to bring the satellites into position. We don't have enough time. I'll repurpose the antenna at the movie studios. Bruce, I spoke to Dad. I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. He still blames himself for this. We'll stop, Scarecrow. See, there it is. Per your request, I've created a series of diagnostic simulations to test the various functions of the suit and Batmobile. Simply select the appropriate program, and the Bat computer will provide a navigational marker. Smoke pellet, remote cover charge. <sighs> I don't have it yet. Jim, we've got a way to find out where Crane's working from. Thank God. What can I do? Get your men ready. As soon as we've got a location, I'll let you know. All right. This is how you get Riddler info. Riddler, tell me what you know. All right, I'll talk. Just don't hurt me. Good. Worst part of it is you can hear every single snap. Not bothering with you, idiots. Got plenty of fighting in my future. I don't need you, idiots, right now. Wanted, but whatever. Things are gonna change when Batman's gone. Those super freaks don't know what they're in for. Penguin, Two Face, Riddler, Harley, all of them. Back before Batman, we didn't need to hide behind nut jobs like that. And when they kill him, we won't need to again. What are you looking at there, Bruce? I think there was an easier way without ruining the panel. I need to bypass it and power the antenna directly. Hello again, Mr. 
Dwayne. How can I help you this time? Is the power winch ready for deployment? It's 100% functional. Though no guarantees if you're intending to pull that car of yours up the side of a building. You read my mind. It's in the job description, Mr. Wayne. Batwing's on its way. There is no damn way Lucius would have known. Okay, there's no way he would have known. That's what Bruce wanted the winch for. Come get your city. Abandoned in terror by those that fled. Torn apart by those who had nowhere to go. You'll notice the car was like immaculate a second ago and now it's dirty again. That thing. Getting the car onto the roof. I'll improvise. <laughs> the winch needs a secure anchor point to function. Once it's attached, just hit reverse. And please be careful with the car, Mr. Wayne. She's one of a kind. But of course. Oh, son of a bitch. this roof can hold the weight of this car. I also love how absolutely everything crumbles before the Batmobile. Here's an easy one to miss. enough. It's not the first time we'll have to navigate the Batmobile through some heated stuff. Alright. One down, one to go. Oracle, I've restored power to the radio antenna. Great. I'm connecting now. I was just talking to Robin. I think you should too. Bruce, you need me out there. We can find Scarecrow faster together. What you're working on is more important, Tim. You can wait one night. Let me help. I've got this under control. <sighs> okay. Listen, try checking in once in a while. We're partners, remember? He just wants to help, you know. Is the antenna ready? Yeah, but we're going to need a microwave tower to triangulate Scarecrow's location. There's one at Falcone's shipping in the cauldron. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Oracle. And we can't use the car to get there since, you know, it's powering the antenna. Scarecrow pulling this on Halloween. Guess he's got a sense of humor after all.
All right. Scarecrow's men are guarding the antenna. I need to evaluate the threat and plan my attack. That happens this whole operation. Five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage. I need to reach a vantage point to draw them outside. If I can separate them, they'll be easier to take down. Look at the guy. Hey, hear that? Someone's out there. You two, go take a look. The door stays locked. I'm taking no chances. Got it, boss. God, these guys are so blind. He's not getting in here. We've got everything covered. Three left. Lucius, I've got a hostage situation. Three gunmen. I need to take them all out before they can react. Is it ready? Flexible plates over an MR fluid armor layer. You'll move faster, hit harder, and look scarier while doing so. Send it, Lucius. Now. Already airborne, Mr. Wayne. What's this? Why? The new bat suit, of course. Ain't she a beauty? You gotta admit, the rain effects on it make it look even better. People say it makes him look too much like a soldier, but that's exactly what Gotham needs at this point. You need a soldier well, to Wayne, fight an army. The outer and inner layers of the bodysuit are made of a titanium triweave. It's between those layers where things get interesting. Wayne Tech MR fluid hardens in response to impact. With this kind of shock absorption, you'll be able to put more force into your counterattacks. The liquid armor is more flex fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. The suit's compatible with the Batmobile's electromagnetic eject mechanism too. You'll fly out of that thing like a bullet from a railgun. Speaking of which, the new grapnel launcher will pull you skyward just as fast. Don't worry, Mr. Wayne. That suit can take the G's. I'm sure How's it, it feel, Mr. Wayne? I've activated the AR training program should you want to run diagnostics or just break it in. We're gonna do these real fast, just to show you what this suit's capable of. So this is teaching you about the predator modes because, you know, Simulation being a stealth activated. predator. Being a stealth predator. Oh no wait, this is the fear multi-takedown. Later on, you can take down up to five guys at once. I got him. Oops. Just gonna pop this real quick. Oosh. 
you know, they tried using science to explain it, but this is bordering on superhuman right here. So that's the first of this suit's new functionalities. This one's called the Throw Counter. It's something to use in uh, open-based combat. You have to counter and push in the same direction. that the guy's coming from. So if he's coming at you from one side, you have to counter and push the opposite way to chuck him. It's pretty it's pretty useful actually. Simulation Here's my favorite part of this, the fact that you can now you can now zip yourself faster. give yourself a boost flying off of the ledge. Which basically makes it faster than driving your car. At least for a short for a short distance. And then of course the dive bombing also helps you gain back some of the momentum you lose. Crap, I meant to retry. Come on. Let me retrigger the challenge. Simulation activated. Yeah, I'll stay away from the GCPD. Oh, come on. Simulation failed. This is a training mission. How am I screwing up this hard? Wasting too much time on that one stupid challenge. We got one more thing to do. Well, two more things actually. Simulation activated. So yeah, if you're going fast, or hell, if you're even if you're just sitting there, you can basically have the suit get flung out of the Batmobile into a quick eject. Plus, you can call the Batmobile to you whenever you're flying. just leaves one more VR mission that I'm gonna do real fast. And that's the predator sections. Because this is basically what made the Batman series so great. The fact that the free flow was the free flow was awesome, yes, but the fact that you could go around and systematically pick off idiots one at a time. Damn it. Can 
restart this? Yeah. Damn it! I haven't played this game in a little while. I'm a little bit rusty. I'm in a war zone. Simulation activated. What are you doing looking out over this? Just looking at the wall. Right? You know, Sweet. I think I have the cash for this gear. Hello. Simulation complete. Okay. I can do this. Yes, because I've never played a Batman game before. That's totally why I started with the third one. house all right so that is all the new stuff that this suit can do better grapples ejecting out of your car improved predator and the fear multi takedown and next time we'll put it through its baptism by fire till next time this has been Jomahawk saying peace out